Good morning. Look at this little guy. All ready for the day. We're just relaxing watching Phil. Finally. Finally watching season four of Phil. Somebody feed Phil. And then I think we're just having a lazy Christmas day. We're gonna go run over to Target at some point. And I just had to show you to start your day off with this very adorable human. Something just arrived. And that is, <laughs> you're getting cozy next to the lunch? She says, I want some of this Seuss High. <laughs> Eat station. Thank you, Steve and Leah, for sending us lunch. Yeah, we literally were sitting there watching Phil, getting hungry, <laughs> needed to edit the vlog, needed to do dishes, needed to do some laundry, and we're like, I was like, I wonder, we're like, we have quick soups. And then Steve texts me, he's like, are you guys hungry yet? I want to get you, we want to get you lunch. And I was like, I know how stubborn you are. So, look, thank you. James has just been wearing shoes for the heck of it. And they're matchy-matchy. I kind of feel like I should go put my light gray sweatpants on. I have some. Let's eat first and then you change. Okay. And the whole reason I started that clip with the countdown to Christmas was because once, are we going to watch the whole season of Phil? I think so. It's only, oh, okay. We only have two more episodes after this one. I think. Oh, I forgot it's a shorter season. Yeah. Um, we're going to have like a Christmas movie day. Yes. But this is like one of our first like no doctor's appointments, no plans, no nothing. Peter's got to run a half marathon today. Um, but it feels so nice just to be cozy at home. Yeah. Peter got the deep fried sushi burrito. It's got like mango and all different kinds of peas and salsa. This is vegan. And then we got egg rolls, their veggie and pork, a little sauce I'm excited about. Makes me miss Epcot for sure. And then I got this fried tempura sushi. Pretty sure there's crab in there. It's spicy. Looks delicious, but messy. All right, lunch was delicious. This little sweet dude is still resting. Maybe not. I'm gonna fold some laundry, Sarah's gonna edit the vlog, Eve's gonna help be our mascot, and I, to start off the movie, Christmas movie selection, have selected the song of Brenda. This is always a classic, I love it. Here is the next movie, but I think we're not gonna end up watching this whole thing. Sarah's getting the vlog situated <laughs> and some stories and stuff situated. Mm -hmm. And I won't make our trip to the Target. Yeah. All right, so I am heading out into the world, retiring the Hamilton soundtrack that has lived in our car for like five years now. Currently listening to Johnny Mathis' 50th anniversary Christmas celebration. We got some other good Christmas CDs. These are now in the car for the duration of the year and into probably February. Um, I'm heading over to Target. Got to return these pair, got the wrong size of pants, got a short list of a few things. I left Sarah and James in at home. Um, hopefully going to make this a quick trip, but who knows? Maybe I'll get crazy with myself. It is the holiday season and we've been getting in the Christmas mood today. So, let's go. Okay, the Christmas section at this one is all set up now. Ooh, this cotton heavy mini, mini muggins. I love it. I returned the pants successfully. Like I just gotta find the right ones now. But this is awesome. So you just wait and see. Here comes even more Alexa, but holiday edition. I know the theme parks have gotten pretty Christmassy. And I can't wait for us to bring James and show him. But look at the Christmas at Target. I've just experienced a double jinx. I jinxed myself by just grabbing a basket. And then Sarah jinxed me by telling me that Pepsi never has deals at Target. Well, they have deals, so I have to go get a cart. Alright, I've successfully upgraded to a cart. I also just picked up a baptism card for Luca because we were kind of crazy busy and never got around to sending his gift. So we're going to send that out in the next couple days. Gotta have a card for it. And rock and roll now, almost done. Twelve seconds later. Um, things have gotten out of hand. I repeat things. Has gotten out of hand. 
I like it to go on record that I was by myself, I had no cell phone, and I was kind of hungry. And that is why what just occurred, just occurred, and Christmas decorations. So, that was a more rough trip to Target. But, no regrets, we got snacks, desserts, Alexa, Christmas, all the good things. Peter has set us up for a night. Here's a little appetizer. I have not have that in a long time. So I really wanted a pastrami sandwich after watching somebody feed <laughs> Phil. And I looked so hard at Target for pastrami. Just couldn't find it other than these really creepy pre-made like lunch pack. Ew. Individual like two pieces well, of bread. I know what I bread. love that like I kind of want before. I'm like, gear things back a little bit. Just a bologna sandwich. Bologna and Miracle Whip. I love bologna. Even though it's like the opposite of well, Whole Foods. I don't think I showed this. Mm. I love this stuff. And Sarah's not the biggest fan. I can actually, I, I don't feel guilty drinking <laughs> most of it. We're not going to be 100%, we're not 100% done decorating for Christmas until the tree is up. Mm -hmm. That's not until later this month, but. Baby's got hiccups, <laughs> if you hear that. I have a hiccup just now. But here's a cheers to James's first Christmas season oh my God. with almond eggnog. What do you think? It's not as thick as normal eggnog. Maybe I do like it. It's like it's like the flavor without the pungent punch. Yeah. One of the things that we like to do is do like half and half eggnog and overized chocolate milk. So good. I do like that. I like this. I probably wouldn't do like a huge big cup every time, but sorry, you can't have it all to yourself. <laughs> so dinner tonight is kind of a mix up of leftovers and frozen stuff that we prepared. We got some chili, and then I decided to get it with myself, and I um, toasted some buns with butter and garlic, put in some pickles on it, and then this is that plant-based taco meat. I just judged it up with some spices and buffalo, um, and dinner will be ready. Super, super easy peasy. All right, the night is coming to a close, but we're gonna watch a quick, how many actual minutes is this? I think it's 24. 24 minutes, exactly. We're gonna watch Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus, which is a touching movie that came out a couple years ago i think produced by macy's because like they were the ones who then used it as their campaign i think they still might but it's based off a true story and funny enough how many years ago did i give you that for christmas Sorry, honey, no. um that yeah. was 2016. 2016 well first of all here's our norman walkwell that we got from gg we never really showed um all of our decorations, all our decorations. here's the norman rockwell from gg santa claus's key to our house and in 2016, I got this article printed and cut out and framed for Sarah, and it's called "Is There a Santa Claus?" And it's an editorial that is an was a real th posting um, in the New York Sun, I believe, is what it was, and that's what. If you see it in the sun. Yes, if you see it in the sun, it's um, um, that's what this was based off of. Sarah's doing some quick online shopping. There's our baby. We're gonna wake him up right now and see if he is hungry or just like can be jived a little bit before we go to bed in like the next 20, 30 minutes. Hopefully to wake him up, mm -hmm. get a full belly. Yes, the, like we need him to eat a lot because we need him to poop and peep a lot so that the jaundice can leave his body. Yeah. So we'll talk more about that tomorrow, but we're going back to get another yeah, test. We are gonna go back to get um, to get him tested again, but it's just so key. Like that was like the big thing was like sunlight and feed. But also, Sarah, we have now become even more like the family from Carousel Progress. They're talking about that little pooch down there. I'm not. What does this pooch have to do with Carousel Progress? <laughs> I don't know. Cute dog. Hey. Sorry for disturbing you. We'll go to bed soon. No. Alexa, family room off. Okay, you ready for this? Look at, oh, there's the lights. We got Christmas lights up over there. Christmas lights up over there. Now check this out. Alexa, Christmas off. Alexa, Christmas on. Yes. And I have a third smart plug that's gonna go right over there because this is where our tree's gonna go and that's gonna be hooked up to the same grouping. So then Alexa, family room on. No more breaking my back, bending over, reaching behind trees, knocking over ornaments, straining the couch to get that <laughs> plugged on, plugged in, plugged out, plugged in every day. It's all hooked up to the smart house like the DCOM movie itself. A thousand years from now, Virginia. Nay, ten times.
times 10,000 years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood. That's my favorite line in this whole thing. Look at this multitasking. <laughs> I take care of all my friends. Okie dokie for the daily message. We have a quote from Francois Fenelon. We can often do more for other men by trying to correct our own faults than by trying to correct theirs. Thank you everybody for all the encouraging comments and whatnot that you sent our way after you heard of us doing the wine and dine runs this weekend. I'm definitely like I needed today at home after walking, but it really did feel good. And um, it's been awesome to work with Citizen and to have like have the chance to do the virtual races because we really did not think that we were gonna be able to. Um, Peter did not run the half today. He's going to do it tomorrow. And now yeah, we're going to go to bed. We got the whole gang here. <laughs> Even the puppy. Alrighty. We go back to the doctor. We go back to the hospital tomorrow to get the labs done again. And hopefully we'll hear that the jaundice levels are keep on. Fingers crossed. I think low. they are. Yeah. I just wish they were going down quicker. Yeah and more like noticeably like no questions um but yeah we'll see we'll see you tomorrow it's good to be home it's good to be home We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>